In this video, we will take a look at how to create a creative mosaic, or in, in other words, pixelated transition inside of Adobe Premiere from scratch. This is quick and easy to use that, and without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. So if I have created a blank Adobe Premiere project, and let's just import our clips. Now here I have also created a sequence. Now let's drag in the clip. Let's take a look at the clip. Let's drag another clip. Let's take a look at the clip too. So we know what we're working with. This is the part we want to add the transition. So now what we can do inside of the project window, we can just create this little button labeled new item, then we can create a new adjustment there. Set the width, height and the time base to the settings of your sequence. If you don't know the settings of your sequence, select your sequence, go to sequence, sequence settings, and then how you can see all your settings. For now, let's just create an adjustment layer with the width of 1920, the height to 1080 and set the time base to 23.976. So now let's uh, drag the adjustment layer, let's drop in uh, exactly where these two meet, so something like this should be okay. Now let's select the adjustment layer and go to the effects tab, let's just search for mosaic. In, under the video effects stylized folder, let's just add the mosaic effect. Now, depending on the style of your video, you can just check or uncheck the sharp colors option. For this video, I have set the in and out transition duration to about 8 frames. So now, the keyframing time has come. I'll select that. I'm gonna set the horizontal block and the vertical block. Just time frame that and the first ray, I'm just set this to a big value like a 4000 or something like this. So it's almost, uh, not almost, it's invisible. In the where these two clips are meeting, I just want to set the horizontal and the vertical blocks to 10. Where they're ending, we can just set them to 4000 again. After taking a look, I realized it's too fast. Now I can just extend the duration for about 7 frames or so. And then we can also adjust the keyframes accordingly. Now what we can do is where the, these two clips meet, we can just go 6 frames behind and let's just set the horizontal and the vertical blocks to 200. Now we can just do the same thing the opposite. So now in total we have something that looks like this. Amazing.